Darlington Raceway getting set for the 69th running of the Bojangles Southern 500. We talk about this race as being a crown jewel for everybody that has ever put on a helmet. This is a feather in every race team and every driver's cap if they can pull off the Southern 500. Uh, Darlington's never been just another racetrack. From the day it was created, it was one of the most special racetracks in the United States, one of the first truly high bank super speedway tracks. The way the pace is, uh, the intensity of running on such a narrow groove right up against the wall uh, on a track that just will eat your car and, and eat your lunch. Green flag is in the air and the Bojangles Southern 500 is underway. Driving that iconic black and gold number two, Brad Kozlowski just picking them off one after another. We had a great first stage. I knew as soon as they dropped the green and we started moving forward that we had something for them today with the uh, MGD Ford. And uh, from there, it was just trying to, to manage it, be super smart, not get the car tore up, and we were able to do that. It was turning really good. He was able to make moves past cars, uh, you know, turn down the hill very good in one, and uh, really just ran good speed through three and four. And the biggest concern was, you know, staying on top of the racetrack and, and making sure we were making adjustments to keep up with it all night. Kyle Larson will pick up stage win number one in stage one here at the Southern 500 at Darlington Raceway. If you're good at the start of the race, that always concerns you that, you know, what are you gonna have when it cools off? As this track transitions from day to night, it, uh, it goes through a couple of transitions. You know, one is it's got a lot of grip at the start of the race, uh, not a lot of rubber laid down. Uh, and it loses it very quickly with the hot sun and the cars running on it. As it goes into the night, it starts to cool off a little bit. You get those late race yellows, some of that rubber and debris starts to get picked up. Track starts to gain speed again. You know, we've had an, enough history here now, kind of have a pretty good feel what we need to adjust on the car as we go into night. Uh, you know, but there's always some unknowns, but you try to lean a little bit on history and, and, and what's happened throughout the year and see if, uh, you, you know, you're making the right decisions. He'll see the end of stage two, and he once again is the winner, he being Kyle Larson. Green flag back up in the air at Darlington, and here they go. Still a long ways to go, and, and, and really just didn't want to make a mistake and stay in the top five. It's running a smart race, keeping our car clean, and hopefully we'll put ourselves in position towards the end. Don't think this thing is over yet. With cars on different pitting strategies, anything could change the outcome of this race. Paul, he's the guy for the strategy. Of course, along the way, I might nudge him a few times on what I think I need. But at the end of the day, I have to trust him to make the right call because he can see the entire picture. Whoa, trouble, turn number four. Ryan Newman's in the wall. Clint Boyer comes piling in. Jeffrey Earnhardt gets a piece of the action as well. Caution, 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 caution. 42, the two, and 22. Right now, lead left. We were going to stop one last time, and caution came out before we had pitted. Put us in a, a really nice spot to, to gain uh, two or three positions before we came to pit road. Well, when the, the yellow came out, trapping uh, the majority of the field lap down and, and not us, I knew it was going to be a good day. Kyle Larson and Brad Keselowski are on the front row. It's your tired look at that DC solar car. Done a good job. We put ourselves in position here at the end. That's what we want to do. Just do your best here. Make the most of it. See what we get. Green, green, green. And breaking away is Larson, pushed from behind by Joey Logano. Caution is out. Got debris in two. Green waves again here at Darlington on the break. Larson jumps out in front. You're ahead of the 22. Once we got up to second, I knew we were in position to strike. Spin, Trouble spin. turn two, Jeffrey Earnhardt spins. So that will put us under the caution flag with 24 laps to go. Five, four, three, two, one. The 42 was pitted just a couple stalls in front of us. As we dropped the jack, I felt like we were a little bit ahead of those guys of where they were. Three very good pit stops. And then I got the perfect launch out of the box. Kind of a drag race from there with Kyle Larson. I think you beat him. It couldn't have been more than six inches, but it was enough. And a tip of the cap to Paul Wolf and the crew. They got Brad Keselowski off of pit road in front of Kyle Larson. Last restart, I mean, you know, your nerves are fully ramped up. I knew if we could clear Kyle Larson into turn one, we could control the clean air and hopefully sail away. On the break this time, it is Brad Keselowski. He has the lead in turn one. I felt like I was gonna throw up at one point there in the closing laps. 
Keselowski is saying goodbye to everybody else in the field. He has left Joey Logano far in the distance. Don't worry about these guys in front of you. Joey cannot catch you. Big basket of playoff momentum on the way and a shot at the Darlington double. Keselowski gets it done at the track too tough to tame. He tames Darlington, winning the Bojangles Southern 500. He done it. A major. Yeah. Cool. Southern 500 champion. Awesome. Great job, pit crew. That last stop was awesome. Thank you so much for that. 29 races since we've won a points paying race. Opportunity came today in Darlington and the two teams struck. Not only to get that first win of the season, but to win at the Southern 500 is just pretty special. Without a doubt, at this point in my career, winning the Southern 500 is the biggest win in my career. This is a prestigious race. It's one you build a legacy off winning.